is Margaret Lee, Special People and Places, and I am in Birmingham at the premiere of 42 here in Birmingham, and we're anxiously waiting for Link Han that is, has a starring role in this. People in Walker County are so very proud, and since it was filmed in Birmingham last year, we've been anxiously looking forward to this. And what a great touch here in the lobby. They have this 42 Oldsmobile. And they've got the music going, the 1942 music going. So we are just looking forward to seeing Link Hand and his mom, Edie Hand. As you can see by those colorful vehicles, the news media, Birmingham's news media, is arriving. The pavement is wet. We've had intermittent rain, at times torrential downpours. But the red carpet is rolled out. I see James Phillip and his lovely wife, Andrea, ready to take photos for the Daily Mountain Eagle. Ah, there is that 1942 car. And I'm looking for the owner. I understand this is in the film, 42. I'm talking to Jerry Haynes, and he's the proud owner of this 42 Oldsmobile. Yes, now, Jerry, you said this was used in the filming of the movie. Yes, ma'am, it was. Uh, we down, uh, I got to 3rd uh, Avenue North about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and I got home at 6 o'clock the next morning, so it was a long night. <laughs> Who actually rode in the car? Uh, myself and one of the uh, uh, producers or directors, he was in the back seat telling us when to drive and when to stop. We uh, filmed the same scene about six times. <laughs> Finally, I guess we got it right. <laughs> so. All right. Any, did any of the characters ride in the car? No, no characters rode in the car, you know. They just wanted it to be filmed. Right. They, they uh, had several old cars there, and uh, I, I hope they'll all be seen, you know, but... Uh, Yes, uh, they contacted me to, if I had an old car to bring it to Birmingham for the filming of the movie, so, so we brought it down. Enjoyed the time there and met some very wonderful people, really did. Had a great time. Oh, I know you enjoyed it, and what an honor. Yes, uh, I'm rather proud of the old car. <laughs> All right. Did you meet Link, a uh, hand in the movie that uh, played um, kind of the bad guy? I haven't met anyone in the movie uh, uh you were just driving your beautiful car. Sitting there driving our car, and, you know, in between scenes, it'd be 45 minutes, so everybody's standing around talking, but I uh, haven't met any of the actors. I'd like to. When did you buy the car? In January 2006. Yeah, it's uh, got almost 27,000 miles on it now. So. Uh, Where did you find the car? In Kentucky. I had a friend up there and, and uh, went to see my friend, and he, he uh, knew about the car, so we went and purchased the car out of Indianapolis, you know, so... Uh, he was a family member. Uh, the, I'm the only owner of the car other than a family member since it was bought new in 1941. It was always in Indianapolis? Well, uh, different family members had the car, son-in-laws, daughters, and stuff like that. But Can you reveal the family name? I don't, uh, I don't remember her name. <laughs> now, I know the car was bought new in Winchester, Kentucky, and I can't remember the elderly lady's name that bought the car. But. Uh, it's amazing. So they just passed it through the family. Right. And the, and the last guy I bought it from, he had the car 27 years, and he put 900 miles on it in 27 years. <laughs> so, so I got it. It had 21,900 miles on it when I bought the car. It only has that many miles. It has almost 27,000 miles on it now. So I've driven the car quite a bit. I like that. I like the car. I really do. Well, I know you do. What an eye catcher. Thank you. Well, I tell you, this car, it's always been babied, it's hasn't it? It's been babied. It really has. Uh, there's a handwritten tag and a metal tag on the back seat spring. It says November the 3rd, 1941. That's when this car rolled down the assembly line and was manufactured. In February 1942, Oldsmobile quit producing cars and started making airplane bombers for the World War II. That's right, for the war. The bomber cars because of the little wings on the emblem. They call them 1942 bombers. <laughs> what a great story, Jerry. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Absolutely. What a great car. I've driven it five trips to Louisville, Kentucky, and it just sits there and runs 70 miles an hour all day long. You know, it drives good, rides good, handles real good, and uh, you can go anywhere in that car. 
So you bought it with only 27,000 miles on it? 21,000 miles when I bought it. And then it's got 27 almost. <laughs> so. so you drove it home when you bought it? No, I tried it at home, you know. But uh, Still baby in that car. In that car, but I've driven it since then, you know. Uh, but I keep the car up, you know, change the oil and uh, maintain it and kept new suspension under the front, you know. So it's a. Uh, so original. did. All original, yes, ma'am. All original car. You didn't have to do anything to the motor, no work on it at all. Just crank it up and drive it. That's all you got to do. Jerry, where do you live? I live in Hansville, Alabama. It's in Coleman County. And I, and I work for the city of Birmingham, so I travel back and forth every day. Well, this is going to be great fun for you tonight. Absolutely. You can see the movie. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to this. I really am. And I hope you see that car. I do, too. <laughs> A live band is playing 1940s music, which sets the mood as guests walk in on the red carpet. I see Edie Hand has arrived, the proud mother of Blake Hand. Everyone's taking pictures. So exciting. He's on his way. <laughs> There's James Phillips taking photos for the Daily Mount Eagle. He is the editor of the Daily Mount Eagle. Oh, Edie has arrived, and she says that Link is on the way. So she's posing for a few pictures for the Mountain Eagle. <laughs> the plane got canceled. It's, it's been six hours on the plane, but he's... he's um Oh, he had to rent a car in Atlanta, so he ought to be here in about 30 minutes. <laughs> he said, I'm in the rain, snow, sleet, or hail. No, no clothes. They're, they're still on the plane. He's in his sweats and his tennis shoes, so he'll be <laughs> Hey, Daniel. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's a great story. Yes, he's going to have a good story between how he got the part and how he got here. <laughs> well, he's looking forward to it, and he said he'd be ready for the interviews when he got here. Fantastic, but that's true. God bless you. Oh, and I know it. We've got cards for everybody. I'll make sure you guys get a card. I'm going to set up at the table for everybody, okay. baseball cards. Um, oh. Let me make sure they get them over here. Okay. Um, thank you so much for coming out. Introduce yourself. My name is Chelsea Hacker. I'm a singer-songwriter from Florence, Alabama, but I'm signed out of Nashville with Platinum Planet Music. Oh my goodness, now do I know you know Edie. Oh yes ma'am, Edie's my manager. And she's also my adopted Aunt Edie. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of thought <laughs> that she might be your manager. Have you met Link? I have, I have, so that's why we're here. So. <laughs> well, we're excited, we just hate he had such a bad night. Oh yeah, I know, I heard his plane got canceled. He had to drive all the way from Atlanta. Exactly, poor baby. Oh, in this weather also. It's ridiculous. Oh, it is. And then, um, you know, on the Internet, his little story about when he went for the audition and all the trouble he had. Oh, yes. <laughs> Bless his heart. <laughs> so Mom Edie said, well, this is just kind of like his audition. Right, right. <laughs> Bless his heart. I'm just really glad he got the part. I'm really proud of him. My goodness, I mean, he had to be able to play ball good as well as act. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, you, you have to learn to play ball. I mean, you can't just fake that in this movie. <laughs> oh, no. I, it's amazing, and I know he's proud of it. I'm really excited about it. I love baseball, so I'm really excited to see it. <laughs> and this is a great story, too. Ooh, the great old car over there, the music. Uh, everything's well planned, isn't it? Oh, yes, ma'am. It really is. I'm really excited. story and when when we were shooting we all kind of felt like we were part of something special we were training for it we were like, are we really are we really doing this 
And then once we were done, you know, we all went away kind of doing our separate things. And the trailer comes out. I went to the movies and watched it with my girlfriend. I saw the trailer in the movie theater. And then I always go to sleep watching sports scene. That's just what I do. In the middle of the night, I wake up and I hear myself yelling at myself. And it was there running the promos on TV. And I thought I was dreaming about it. And I was like, wait, what? And then all of a sudden, I'm driving, driving down the road in Hollywood. And all of a sudden, one billboard's up. The next day, there's two. And also they're all over the place, and every time I turn the TV on, the promos are running. And just to be a part of something like that, it, it's hard to describe it. That would be cheesy, but it's like being in a dream, and you kind of wake up, and you're like, I don't want this to, I don't want it to end, and I haven't woken up yet. If that makes any sense, it's it's hard to describe. Grow up 25 minutes away. Right. You know, move out to LA. Come back to Birmingham to shoot this huge film, parts of it, and here you are at a, at a really fun premiere. And again, tell the anecdote about this theater. Well, this this is where I brought my first date when I was in high school. So th when we we went to Atlanta first, and we did some training there before we started shooting here in Rickwood. And so a lot of us took a shuttle or a big uh, big charter bus from Atlanta to uh, to the hotel where we were going to stay at. Now I fell asleep. Woke up next to Leeds, and I saw the sign, and that was a school that we used to play in basketball all the time. So for a second, I thought I was 15 going to a basketball game. And I look over, and T.R. Knight's sitting across from me. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm, I'm here working. I'm in my hometown. This is my first major feature film with a big studio, and I'm in my hometown? Like, what? Like, I... I was trying to be, you know, I'm with a bunch of baseball players and guys, and I'm trying to be a tough guy and trying to be cool, and I almost get choked up. I'm like, uh, uh, <clears throat> hold on. And I, you know, kind of try and brush it off. And then now I fly back into town for this, and I get to share it with my mom, my dad. It, it, it doesn't get better. It doesn't get better. Hey, Dad. How you doing? May I grab you? Yes, ma'am, of course. I am Margaret Lee. And I am a friend of your mom's. Uh -oh. We're Walker County local uh -oh. TV and also Channel 80. Yes, but I tell you, Link, with a mother like Edie Hand, you had to be ambitious and driven. <laughs> I may be crazy, maybe a little crazy. I'll throw that in there. <laughs> she is enormously proud of you. Well, I like to think so. I like to think so. She is. She is. Gosh, and we're sorry you had trouble with the weather today, but I'm, hey! I'm sorry, I'm sorry I'm dressed like this. Yeah, I w I've been in the airport for like the last 24 hours, so um, my flight got canceled this morning, got pushed for three hours. I was like, okay, I'll make it. That doesn't work out. So then I get to Atlanta, get right to about to board the plane, and it goes over, flight's canceled. So I run to the rent-a-car, rent-a-car, and I drive three hours to get here. And so that's why I look like this, because my clothes are... My clothes are still, I guess I'm hoping in Atlanta somewhere, and hopefully I'll get them back tonight. Oh, my goodness, Lane. We didn't know you had this much trouble. Hey, it's a story to tell. It's a story to tell. But after uh, that little uh, blurb on um, YouTube or whatever about your trouble with the audition, your mother said, well, hey, it's like the audition. <laughs> exactly. Very much. Very much. Yes, ma'am. Link, how was it to play uh, someone that was sort of the bad guy? Uh, like I said, the bad guy's fun. It's very fun. Get to be, get to be mean. Yes, sir? Uh, all right. All right. Thank you, Lane. Oh, thank you so much. Look, oh, thank you so very much. It was a pleasure meeting you. Have a great one. The Birmingham premiere of the film 42. Filmed in Birmingham, in part, the Rickwood Field is shown the old Rickwood Field where the Birmingham Barons played. It was so nice that Link Hand finally arrived safely. The lobby is buzzing with excitement. So many people appeared in the film as extras and they cannot wait to see this. 
baseball hats with 42. There are baseballs been given away. Ah, there is James and Andrea Phillips on the red carpet with that backdrop of 42. A great photo of James Phillips in bow tie and pretty wife Andrea in a glamour 40s dress by that 42 Oldsmobile. I so enjoyed talking to Jerry Haynes and getting the story behind that 1942 Oldsmobile. Link hand on the red carpet from left is Wanda McCoy, McCoy Enterprises, Judy Jones, Hollywood publicist. His mom, Edie Hand, Don Keith, author and advertising executive. Here's Edie Hand with Judy Jones showing son Link's baseball card. Link is shown talking with guest of Mayor Bell. Carmike Theater Manager is shown with event organizer in a baseball hat with 42. There was much excitement as all of Birmingham's news media was on hand to interview. There is Link with ABC, Fox, CBS, NBC, all were represented. Plus, radio and newspaper reporters. Media and guests were given baseball cards with photos of Link in character as Fritz Ostermuller. His role in the film 42. Children's on Third Outpatient Center. Link Hand is already here for an appearance. After an early morning interview on Fox News, this Children's Hearing and Speech Center is a recipient of funds from Edie Hand Foundation. Link is also here to present the Link Hand Scholarship for 2013 award. Link, the veteran Hollywood actor and graduate of Corner High School in Dora, Alabama, established this scholarship award to help aspiring actors at his alma mater. The Corner Theater Academy in the school helps prepare talented students for professional careers in the acting world. All right. Well, first of all, I'm very proud to be here at Children's Hospital. The EDN Foundation has uh, been doing a lot of different projects with Children's Hospital for the last, I guess, 25 years. And Adam, in the last couple of years, we've done things on our prescription for healthy lifestyle show. I was glad today that my son Link was in town for the Mission 42. And we got baseball cards for everybody, which is pretty cool. Um, and uh, Link's been growing up around this business a long time, but I'm very proud of what he did last night on, on screen. And he has, certainly has a pivotal role in 42. And today we're excited because we're going to make an announcement about the first Link Hand Scholarship to his high school uh, at uh, Corner. So Link. What's this all like for you and having your old mama be a part of it? <laughs> well, since you're a part of it, I definitely can't breathe. So that's, that's for sure. Anybody that knows her knows exactly what that means. But, uh, you know, it's great to be home, to share it with you, share it with my dad, be around where I grew up. And it's still, I, I've said this too much, but it's like a dream I'm not really waking up from. And uh, I'm excited, I'm excited that I get to be here today. And, you know, Spent some time with some great kids, and, and we get to do uh, give out the first scholarship, which is going to be the first of many. And very excited about that. It's a very deserving young lady, and uh, I'm excited. Yeah. What were you gonna say? I was going to say we bring her right over here. And uh, first, come on over, Alexis. This is Alexis Gravely, and uh, before we talk to her, I'd like for Mike Putman to come over. And Mike was um, Link's. Uh, drama coach, director at Corner High School, um, and when he graduated in 98, went off to Hollywood. But Mike, tell what this moment's like for you. Well, it was okay until you aged me and told me to graduate. <laughs> Thanks, Edie. So hello. Thanks. Uh, it's, it's, it's great. Uh, we're glad to have Link in uh, Hollywood representing Corner Theater Academy, and for him to come back and give back uh, a little of what he's gotten is, is great for the kids. And it's like I told the kids, uh, look at Link, he came from Corner. He, don't give up on your dreams. You 
Give them one of your dreams. It's just all over for everybody. So um, he's here to present the First Link Hand Scholarship to a deserving senior, Alexis, uh, at the Academy. So, Tell us a little bit about Alexis. Uh, Alexis has, I think Alexis has been cast in almost every show. She's always at the theater. Um, right now, she's directing our final show of the season, our sixth and final, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. But Link saw her as part of a fundraiser for the scholarship as a taffeta, as a 50s musical review group, um, a four-girl uh, group. And it was a, it's a beautiful show, and it keeps getting requested over and over and over. Um, and again, we're going to remount it, a portion of it, we're going to remount for a performance on May 3rd, the day after the Snow White. So, but yeah, we're busy there. And you know what's great about it is, and I want you to know, is this is the beginning of the scholarship, but it's not just local in Jefferson County for what he's got at the corner high school is, but it's regional theater. It's kids that they can come and be a part of this that might not be able to go to college if they might not got a grant, and how this can help make a difference. And we want to grow it to be significant for many of your students. And I'm just glad that Link and I, through the foundation, EDM Foundation, if people want to know more about it, where could they go to at the corner? Website? You can always go to cornertheater.org. You can look at Corner Theater Academy's uh, page on Facebook. Um, sure? I can get your email, and I can flood your email with Corner <laughs> Theater Academy news. Uh, we're out there. And I love that. And the EDM Foundation.org, we really love what Children's Hospital is all about. And to try to make a difference for the families in our community, and not only here, but across our state. Children's of Alabama is just that. And the new hospital is making a difference so these kids can have transplants, within the hospital, they don't have to leave. Uh, for critically ill children today, we're gonna to be seeing kids that are having some physical therapy from sports to different serious, more serious illnesses. And I think this is pretty awesome that we can help raise awareness and some money to give back in our community. And that's what I'm proud of Link for paying it forward. And so now we'd love to present you with this scholarship. Thank you. You wanna turn around? It'll be a moment. <laughs>
mentorship programs and singing for our You Paved the Way program. What we do, thank you for stopping by. She came last night to Link's premiere. So this is Alexis, Hi, just so you can meet Nina. And this is my husband. And this is Dr. Higgins. Hello. Don't you know him? All right. Well, we're excited to go for the tour, and we thank you all for coming. And being Thank you. 